Hi, this is Dreema, and today we are doing a client reading, and this is a love reading. Um, actually, it's called Will My Ex Return to Me Reading, and I'm going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot Cards and a six-card spread. Now, I've already shuffled these quite a bit before I actually turned the camera on, and that's because I only have a, so long on my camera, and it seems to just kind of quit, so I want to make sure that I have enough time to, um, you know, go ahead and actually explain all the cards. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and lay our spread out. Once I get this laid out, I'll explain exactly what the positions are. Let's move them all over just a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, now the card at the top, that's going to tell us about the other person's sex life. Um, what kind of sex life they're having right now. And the card on the top right is going to tell us um, what the ex thinks about the client right now. This card, the, the third one, is going to tell us um, how the ex feels about the client now. And the center card is going to tell us um, what kind of potential relationship does the person think that the client and they will have in the future. And this card will tell us what is really the potential for a relationship in the future. And lastly, the sixth card is the overall card. And this card will tell us uh, overall um, kind of what the relationship, what's going to happen with the relationship. So I'm going to start up here with the sex card. Okay. And we have the nine of swords. Now, to me, this card in relation to sex um, tells me that this person right now um, is kind of disappointed in their sex life. It's really not what they thought it would be. Um, as you can see from the swords coming at them, it looks like that they have a lot of opportunities for sex, but it's really just not what they thought it would be. It's not as good and as fulfilling as they thought it would be. Okay. Now we're going to move to this one. And this card is going to tell us um, how the ex thinks about the client now. Okay, and we have the six of coins. Now, this is an interesting card because, um, as you can see, there's some hands down here and hands up here. It's a very busy card. There's a lot going on uh, with this card. And as you can see, there's hands here and hands there, and, and there's some things in the center. It's just really a busy card. So what I'm getting from this card um, is that um, as far as how the ex thinks right now about the client is that, um, you know, there's a lot going on. There's just a lot going on and that they think in the future that there's going to be some giving. Um, as you can see, the, the hand is dropping to this one. There's going to be some giving and it, within the relationship. And that's what they're thinking about the client, that they really believe that there will be some sort of giving of, um, it could be financial, it could be um, love, it could be sex. There, there's something that this person thinks the client will be able to give them in the future. Okay. Now we're going to move to feelings, and this one is how my ex feels about you now, okay? And now we have the page of swords. Now this is interesting because, um, as you can probably see, um, he's holding a pillow with some swords on it, and it's a very young uh, face. Pages are very young, um, and as you can see, the, this card is... It's kind of a bright card, at least that's how I would I would portray it. It's kind of a bright card. It certainly isn't anything bad. Um, and I would say that this card, just due to the brightness of it, that the X feels some side of warmth. That's what I'm getting from it. Some sort of warmth from the client. Um, and they feel that towards them, okay? Um, it almost as if... Um, they're, you know, they're feeling like there is something, some kind of warmth coming from the client towards them, and they feel that warmth back. Um, they also feel that there is something 
that has gone on within this relationship that can teach them some sort of lesson. Um, something has happened uh, in the past in this relationship and they want to move past that and I really feel that this is about warmth and learning that they have learned something from some event that has happened in the past okay now the fourth one is what kind of potential relationship does the ex think there will be okay and then we have the king of coins now this is an interesting card because you know, as you can see, um, it's a pretty powerful card. Any card that, to me, that is a king, um, it, you know, it just kind of reeks of power. It, it's a card that is about power. And it, it's, as you can see, he's standing there and he's holding one coin on a balcony. Okay. And to me, this card is just, it's, it's a powerful and strong card. So what I'm getting um, is that, as far as what kind of potential relationship does this person think um, is that they really believe that this client is someone that they can count on. Um, this is a dependable relationship. It, it's one that has the potential to be stable and successful and powerful. Okay. Now let's move to this one. And this one is about, is there a potential? This is about, what does the person think? And this is about, is there? Okay, and now we have the emperor. Now, to me, this is a fire card. That's really the only way I know how to put it. Um, as you can see, it's a really red card. There, There's a lot of fire going on here. And at the top, there's a bull. And, you know, to me, like, this is another card that is extremely powerful. Um, and what I get from this card as far as if there will be a potential relationship, I do see that there will be a potential relationship. Um, and it's a relationship that's, what I'm getting is really a fiery relationship. Um, one with a lot of drama and things like that going on, because this is a powerful fire card. So I do see that there is a potential for the relationship. And now let's finally move to the outcome card, the overall, okay? And we have the King of Wands. Now, this is interesting because, again, we have a very powerful card. Um, and to me, this is about intense. Okay, this tells me that that this overall relationship, that it will, it will happen again. Um, and there's kind of like a circle here in this. So what that tells me is that this relationship will, over time, um, you know, go back and forth. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with there's been some past problems within the relationship. And it is an extremely, extremely um, intense relationship, um, almost impulsive on the part of the person, um, not necessarily the client, but the person. So this relationship overall has been one that has been very impulsive and very up and down because of this circle. Um, it will continue to be an up and down relationship, even though the person seems to think from here that their relationship can be stable. Um, that belief, I really don't see that it can be stable. I believe there will be a re re relationship will, you know, happen again, but um, I do not believe that it's going to be one of those relationships where everything's all peace and harmony. Um, it's going to be more where there's a lot of intense impulsiveness and a lot of fire, a lot of fire in this relationship. Okay, um, that does conclude my reading for today. And I would like to thank everyone for joining me. And I do hope to that you'll join me again.